Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. School and charter buses in Canada are generally very safe, but they do not require seat belts in them. The Canada Safety Council has been pushing for federal and provincial governments to enforce seat belts on coach buses for years. But it says not all buses need them. School buses are designed specifically to make seat belts redundant. The seats have higher backs, are placed closer together and can absorb shock better. Whereas charter buses have larger windows, which make the odds of being thrown out of the bus in a crash exponentially higher than with a school bus. But the reason that we suggest seat belts on coach buses is because coach buses are a lot like regular passenger vehicles, and they tend to use highways a lot more than school buses do, which exposes them to increased speed. Saskatchewan does not have any laws enforcing seat belts for bus passengers. Many buses travel across provinces, so Saskatchewan would likely rely on Transport Canada to take the lead on the issue. Provinces and territories also share the responsibility for enforcing operational regulations. Transport Canada enforces Canada Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, which includes specific requirements for motor coaches, brakes, windows, stability control, like other vehicles, buses must also meet standards for lighting, tires and other safety equipment. But seat belts are not mandatory for buses, which doesn't make sense considering seat belts are safety equipment. In March 2017, Transport Canada proposed to mandate seat belts on medium and large highway buses, with the aim of improving bus occupant safety consistent with regulations in the United States. This initiative is still currently undergoing Canada Gazette Part 1 consultations. The Canada Gazette consultations are federal departments and agencies give interested groups, individuals and all Canadians the chance to review and comment on proposed regulations before they are enacted. Proposed regulations are published in Part 1 of the Canada Gazette. Once enacted, they are published in Part 2. There are a few other safety regulations for buses that are either in consultation phases or will kick in within months. Another proposal undergoing consultation involves watching over federally regulated bus drivers' working hours to minimize the risk of drivers overworking and driver fatigue. In 2015 it was flagged that Canada has no countrywide safety standard for municipal or coach buses. School buses on the other hand are required to meet several standards and pass crash tests. As a result, school buses fare much better than others in collisions. Requiring seat belts is a move the US has already made. As of November 2016, New tour buses and ones that travel between cities require seat belts under federal law. The rule doesn't apply to city transit buses or school buses. Similar seat belt laws have been in place in Britain since 2001. The only exemption for use seat belt law is for city buses, in which many passengers travel standing up. Canada must listen and enact the seat belt laws similar to the ones the U.S. imposed. Seat belts save lives, especially in something that kids are in. School buses may be safer but should also require mandatory seat belts because you can never be too safe. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.